OEC is a consortium of seven University of London institutions. We were started over a decade ago, and it was largely to kind of accelerate and leverage all our expertise of these universities and colleges across this space. So today we have over 5,000 members working across all different elements of global development. So we are potentially have one of the highest concentrations of global development expertise globally. We had previously worked with Eli Daishi in a previous small project, uh, actually small ones, whereby we went to Masailand and we picked some some samples and talk to the community about EML and therefore we already had a very good ground on which to continue with the current Nairobi River uh, project and I can say LIDC played a very great role. They, they, they have actually helped us kind of uh, find a way within EML sector and we, we are very happy to be part of uh, that research work uh, in Nairobi River because it uh, helps us to expand our knowledge about environmental AML. Uh, looking at what we did, correcting the, the samples also from the pastoral communities in Kajiado, and it's now we expand it to urban area. And uh, considering also in Nairobi, there is a lot of livestock, particularly along the Nairobi River, where most of the very poor communities supplement their income by keeping livestock and provide most of their livestock products to the local communities here. Hi, my name is Alessia and I'm the Communications Manager at the Action Against Hunting Hub. LADC played a huge role in setting up the project, putting together the proposal and currently hosting us in the same building and helping us with a range of activities that goes from admin, finance and communications. The Action Against Stunting Hub is an interdisciplinary project that is trying to transform the current research on stunting using our innovative whole child approach, which looks at every aspect of early child development and also trying to understand what type of intervention can change the life of the most vulnerable children in India, Indonesia and Senegal, aiming to obviously end stunting worldwide. One of the really good things about LIDC is the memberships we offer. We offer a variety of different memberships to um, individuals, to students, to organisations. And these memberships are an important part of who we are. They help shape the work we do. They help shape um, the activities we do. They work in partnership with each other. Sharine John and I work in the communications team here at LIDC where I manage our social media platforms which is one of the main services that I offer as an individual to our NGO membership. It's the opportunity to have your work promoted via our various social media platforms and reach our global audience which means that you can form networks both within the UK and abroad. Another advantage of joining LIDC as a member NGO is having priority access to LIDC's events. We're also always on the lookout for research, especially interdisciplinary, intercollegiate, interinstitutional research that we can publish on our website. We do interviews for featured member articles. We publish blogs, thought pieces, and we also are looking for news of your events and other news that we can promote on our social media platforms. One of the areas we're very proud of here at LIDC is the fact that we've been able to help our NGOs gain access to research and funding opportunities. We will help them to put together large scale multi-institutional bids and also smaller bespoke bids for those unique projects that a lot of our colleagues in NGOs are working on. My name is Andrea Zori. I work for Doctors with Africa Quorum. Doctors with Africa Quorum is an international NGO that focuses on health system strengthening in sub-Saharan Africa. We are really happy to be part of the London International Development Centers as we want to promote implementation research in African countries. I think that together we can build a stronger network, promote best practices and study better models to deliver care to vulnerable people. Thank you so much. 
Hi, my name is Sasha Gill. I'm a Global Communications Officer at NGO Brook, which is a member of LIDC and an NGO working to raise awareness of the plight of working horses, donkeys and mules across the world and also the communities that depend on them, particularly in Latin America, Asia and Africa. We're a member of NIGC because as well as being an NGO that's involved in various things such as advocacy, um, campaigning, on the ground livelihoods projects, other projects and so on. We are also a research organisation so it helps us to be able to forge relationships with academics through LIDC, to form new research partnerships and also to promote our research at various webinars that LIDC holds throughout the years. Also um, on a personal level I actually found my current role through LIDC. Um, I am currently a student at SOAS studying an MSc in Development Studies and so I attended a webinar that LIDC held about how to get a job in international development and that's where I met my now manager Anna, so it's a great organisation all around. Hi, uh, my name is Gun Benjaminson, I'm the communications manager at LIDC. I also run the internship program that we have year round. We typically have two interns with us at any given time. And that's such a great thing for us because we get helped from, um, from student and recent graduates to assist us with social media, to do um, uh, some analytics, uh, videos, to, um, assist at, at events and write pieces for the website. So it's really uh, a great opportunity both for students and for LIDC. So we receive applications for this internship from uh, students and re recent graduates of our member institution. Uh, and that's one of the benefits of being a member at LIDC uh, for students and recent graduates. Um, in addition to being able to apply for the internship, you get uh, access to our members on the event. Uh, we have four per year and they typically focus on careers in international development. We also have some uh, networking uh, workshops and uh, other events as well that are particularly tailored to students uh, at our member colleges. Um, we have very many happy members in our member institutions, so we decided to also open up the membership to students who are studying at other institutions. So we now have uh, the option for students and recent graduates of other institutions to join us for a very low fee, it's £10 per year. Um, and by joining LIDC, you become a group of uh, part of a, the biggest network of international development researchers. You can apply for the internship, you can attend our events, you get our newsletters, etc. Um, so we really hope that uh, students both in our member institutions and other institutions want to join us. Um, it's really a, a great opportunity both for LIDC to meet uh, students and recent graduates and for you to get to know us better and possibly explore the possibility of a career in international development. Hi, so my name is Ella Thane and I studied at SOAS, University of London, and I did my master's in economics, focusing on global economic governance and policy. My name is Leila and um, I'm in my third year of development studies bachelor's in SOAS, University of London. I applied for the LIDC internship when I started my master's degree at SOAS in 2019. I applied because I found it an interesting organization to work for, work with, an intern at, because it would allow me to, one, get work experience first of all at the University of London, which I found to be a great opportunity. And I also found it to be a very interesting uh, platform to enhance my knowledge and understanding really what goes into the background work of researching what is necessary for development and then also how different international organizations come about seeking to understand where areas of improvement are needed to be made before they actually go in and implement development work. I had um, been aware of LIDC's um, events and their opportunities that they offer and so um, I had been you know going to events and learning a lot about development through LIDC and so it seemed like a great place to to be and great people to learn from. So I thought I'd give it a shot and I think communications is also a really great skill to have um, even for people who are looking for a career in another field. Communication now is um, really central and has been um, really useful for other 
um, kind of opportunities after my internship. I really enjoyed my time at LIDC working as a communications intern between January and March of 2020. I really liked and appreciated what I was asked to do, so the tasks that I had to do, and also to take part in collaborating with hosting of roundtable events and got to meet and listen in to some very interesting and informative discussions on international development. What I also really appreciated was to see the background and the hard work that goes into researching the reasons for why we do conduct international development. I found that a very interesting and informative experience. And then finally, what I also really appreciated about my time at LIDC was to work with such a great team that was very supportive and encouraging with one another. And I found that very refreshing to see in a work environment. Probably designing social media cards. Um, I discovered that I enjoy uh, messing with uh, design things and, and thinking about um, a more creative side of, of, of things and try to make the cards look good and then you learn about um, uh, proportion uh, you know how to properly dimension uh, uh, all the elements in the in the card how to use all the space that's available uh, to make a, a more harmonious uh, uh, design and I really enjoyed it. I think my favorite part of the internship was really learning the hard skills in communications. Um, so from my experience, um, I use Twitter a lot and social media analytics, as well as MailChimp. Um, and so to kind of get to play around with these things um, and learn about the kind of backstage of communications, I think was it was really um, good to have concrete experience in those things. Uh, drafting the newsletters also um, kind of introduced me to, you know, researching different events in international development and really gave me some insights into the kind of sector more in London, the things that are happening around the job opportunities. Um, I think all around it was um, a good kind of research communications um, experience that was really helpful. Uh, my tip for students interested in international development would be to try to get as much um, hands-on experience uh, as possible because in this field from what I've learned so far <laughs> experience is really really valuable so you cannot overestimate the value of, of any experience that you're able to get so just put your name out there um, make yourself noticed so I think it's very important to have a combination of both academic experience and work experience. And so I would advise anybody to, you know, give your give your attempt and try to have as much internship and volunteer experience as possible, because it also really helps with developing your resume when you actually come to looking for a job post education. I think also taking advantage of any events to learn about international development um, beyond anything that. Um, you can learn at university more learning from practitioners and experts.